Reckless Squad back with another video on Reckless. Okay. We got Andrew Tate on why having female friends is pointless. Definitely geek to see what he got to say about this, what they got to say about this, you feel me? Because these are actually interesting. Um, if it's other fresh and fit clips that y'all want to check out, make sure y'all comment down below. If it's actually a podcast part that y'all want to check out, make sure y'all comment down below. We just have to do it in parts because the videos are typically long you know what i'm saying um <clears throat> but you already know hit that like button hit that subscribe button definitely appreciate everybody tuning in and watching this reaction let's get a video I want nice. really one mic know. at a time one mic at a time you <laughs> asked why do we not have best friend, female <laughs> well, like, friends well like do you guys have female friends no now? So, like, it's why pointless don't you? it's absolutely pointless to have a female friend because women get all the benefits of having platonic male friends and man gets nothing and do you want to break that down a little bit about the stupidity of having female friends? Really? From, from, oh, a, from a, a guy, from a holistic sure. person having full time. When he said that, look at the uh, look female at her friends. Right here. A man gets nothing. And do you want to break that down a little bit about the stupidity of having female friends? Really? From, oh, from, from a, from a, a bad guy, from a holistic sure. perspective. Sure, from a holistic perspective. You don't want right. like a female perspective or anything? No, no, no. I'll, I'll just yeah. tell you why, personally. You I ask have, the men. I have I have zero female friends. Mm -hmm. That does not mean I'm not polite to women. It doesn't mean I'm not female acquaintances, right? It doesn't mean I can't meet all of you and say hello to you and see you on the street and say hello to you, etc. But the idea of having a female friend, someone I hang out with often, who is my friend and we're purely platonic, mm -hmm. is garbage. It's okay. garbage because as a man, I'm spending 99% of my energy finding a sexual partner. And, and any partner, no, but any partner of mine who I'm also having sex with, my girlfriend, my wife, whoever it may be, she is my friend. There's no benefit from female friendship outside of the friendship I'm gonna get from my partner. Truthfully, it can really be the same the other way around. If you have a man and you truly love him and he's your guy, you shouldn't really need other dudes. That's the truth, you shouldn't. But Myron said it perfectly. There is a massive amount of liability to me being friends with the chick. Let's say she's my friend, right? We've been friends. We, we talk spiritually. Right? <laughs> for, ten, for, ten year, for, ten, for 10 years, for 10 years, I've been listening to her astrology bullshit <laughs> in my ear, pretending I'm I don't want to. I'm an Aries. Yeah. I'm a Gemini. I'm a Sag. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's fire uh, guys, 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 let him finish. For 10, <laughs> years, for 10 years, I'm listening to this bullshit, pretending I don't want to fuck. We're walking down the street. Some dude comes up, snatches her bag. What, now I, have, now I have to risk my life to protect a bitch <laughs> who, doesn't, who, doesn't, who doesn't even suck dick? Let me tell you, if you're my female friend, I'll be like, look, we're equal, we're friends, you better chase that motherfucker down. You better go. Oh, you, you want me to protect and provide? Oh, you, oh I'm, a man. I'm your man now. Oh, I'm your man now. This is the exact point, right? All these, what, what women do, and it's very, very smart. She said it herself. And and I feel like we're picking on you a little bit, and we're not. We're I, not don't, I don't feel picking on you. Okay, perfect. You're good. Perfect. But she said it herself, that sounds like a great deal to me. I'll take that, I'll it take is. that. It absolutely is, because it's exploitation. Now, any man who allows himself to get exploited, <laughs> any man who allows himself to get exploited deserves it. He deserves it. If you're stupid enough to sit there and go, yeah, you're, it's Taurus rising today. <laughs> how, how, maybe I could see some titty man it's been four years. Please, if you're stupid enough to get exploited, then you deserve to be exploited. I agree. But I am. Let me tell you another thing. Let me tell you another thing, right? There's a difference between this, this, these terms are thrown around a lot, alpha male and beta. Yeah. But if I meet a girl, let's say I were to come up to you on the street in order to talk to you, I would be talking to you with a pure intention. And my intention is pure. My intention is to try and take you on a date. I would say you're absolutely beautiful. Really nice to meet you. I'd like to take you on a date. You said, oh, I've got a man, da, da, da. I would say, okay, cool. You've got a man. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. My intention is pure. It's not deceiving. 99% of these dudes who are your friends are deceiving with their intentions. Facts. And it's beta male bullshit. I'd rather accept a no off a chick and move on than sit there and go, well, if I pretend I'm her friend long enough mm -hmm. and I jerk off over her and stuff for long enough, I might pull it off when she's drunk. Because that's what they're fucking doing. <laughs> it's coward, beta male bullshit. It's for weak men who ain't got the balls to sit there. Right. If you're dudes, whoever they are, they should sit with you and say, look, we need to fuck. And, and not in that, okay, let me rephrase that. <laughs> I've known you a long time. You're such a sweet young lady. All these other men don't treat you right. Why don't we go on? That sounds that's better. What, that's yeah. Okay. That sounds yeah, better. All right. Okay. So that's why I rephrased it. That's what they should say to you. And if you say no, then they should be like, say, bounce. Because they, they shouldn't be there anymore. So what they're doing is they're being, they're not being pure with their intention. <laughs> and that is an act of cowardice. And I think acts of cowardice are not something to be respected. I think a man should be completely honest about his intention. That doesn't make you a bad guy. You're not a bad man to go up to a girl and say, you're beautiful. I want you to be my woman. That doesn't make you bad. No. It may, you're much worse to sit there and go, I don't want to be your woman at all. Let's talk about astrology. That's garbage. It's a fucking lie. That's Question nice for the ladies. Guy. I feel like everything that he's saying, though, is like for real true. Because it, <laughs> it is a lot of men, you know what I'm saying? As as far as women, some women, you know what I'm saying, that do that too. But it is a lot of men that do that. 
that, you know what I'm saying, take it and want to be your friend and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Then, like, old chick said on the one, uh, she said on, uh, what is her name? Cheyenne. Mm-hmm. Um, she said that, you know what I'm saying, it's cool to have male friends and just to talk to them and just to, and although, you know what I'm saying, and, and her attentions and other females that's like that may think that it's cool to have, you know what I'm saying, got friends and actually they, they not even doing nothing or they just, you know what I'm saying, they friends, they want that. But from a guy perspective, you know what I'm saying? If they want it like it's not, that shit ain't gonna go. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, that shit's that shit's not gonna go. And like he said, yo woman, you know what I'm saying to me, you got a woman, you know what I'm saying, you got a girlfriend, you got somebody you talking to, you got a wife, you got a fiance. One thing about it, you know what I'm saying, is that shit, that's your friend. Just like the other way around. Like that's your friend. You know what I'm saying? That's who you talk to, that's who you build with, that's who you, you know what I'm saying, do shit with her. That's your friend right there. That should be your best friend. That's your you know what I'm saying? So I see exactly what he's talking nice about. Nice guys. They're all, yeah, they're all tricksters. <laughs> Look, do you have a lot of female um, friends? Acquaintances, yeah. Okay. Friends? Female, female friends? friends? Yeah. Mm, okay. Not really. You? Barely. You? I have more female friends than I have male friends. Okay. Not really. <laughs> like Jade, yeah. I have my sisters, yes. Okay, I mean, like... No, 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 I'm an only oh, child. They're not, they're I have your, they're female your, friends oh, okay. that are... So two. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of female friends. Like real friends? Yeah. You can yeah. crawl up in the middle of the night? Yes. Yeah, and they're going to come yes. pick me up. Okay. Sure. Mm-hmm. I'll say it's even, to be honest. Okay. Only her. Only her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what I've come to realize from interviewing a lot of women is that they don't even have a lot of female friends. So you guys want us to have you guys as friends, man? Like, what the fuck? Like, it's bullshit. <laughs> like, women don't even want to be friends with women, but you guys want us to be friends with you guys. And it's like... And a lot of, and a lot of females, um, me, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, I ain't, I ain't no female in there, but I know, you know what I'm saying? A lot of females say they got a lot of female friends and they really not their friend. Just because they come pick you up don't mean shit. It's a lot to do to mean in a friend, you feel me? If you actually going through something, that friend gonna come through there. And I ain't talking about just going to oh boo hoo, I'm crying and shit. If you really down bad, ain't got shit, all oh, come stay with me. Here how long you did I do that. That's a real friend. You know what I'm saying? That actually like right there, like real like you know what I'm saying? Like for real yeah. brother, sister type shit. You know what I'm saying? meaning like, you know what I'm saying? One of my niggas, bro, brother, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? She got somebody's yeah. sister. Not brother. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's more so is that's a real friend. And I feel like it's a lot of females that don't real they think they have real friends. They don't have them. I'm telling you. When this when this when it get real low, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I realize from interviewing a lot of women is that they don't even have a lot of female friends. So you guys want us to have you guys as friends, man? Like, what the fuck? Like, it's bullshit. <laughs> like, women don't even want to be friends with women, but you guys want us to be friends with you guys. And it's like, I, it's very <laughs> difficult to deal with women. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, it really is. That's so it's exactly like, if we're not it. fucking you guys, it's not in our best interest to deal with you. If I'm going to be 1,000% honest. Your feelings, periods, you know, the drama, my hair. Like, like it, it's it's really not in a man's best interest. It's just like Andrew said. Like, as, as a, when you hang out with men, men offer utility a lot of the times. Women, like, a girl will be your female friend and still, like, it kind of expect you to pay for shit. Or she's going to expect you to step up in certain situations, like if your bag gets stolen or whatever. Mm-hmm. She's going to still expect... A certain level of boyfriend energy or behavior even if she's not having sex with you which is fine you guys are finessing like you should do it because let's flip the role let's say you guys came to my house every night right and we had sex and i told you all right you got to go get the fuck out of here and then you left and i never ever like talked to you or asked you how your day was or anything and we just solely had sex and i told you to leave right after hey sorry I, I, you got to go how'd that make you feel obviously she's coming back so she agreeing with it right? yeah but how, <laughs> how would that make you feel long term i mean use use right I mean, that's exactly yeah, how men that feel would, in the friend zone it's just that when a guy time. uses a woman for sex it's considered like fucked up but if a girl uses a guy for friendship no one bad tonight but it's the same exact concept if a man a man that uses a woman for sex is the same as a woman that uses a guy to be a friend because both parties are missing what they actually want the woman wants attention and uh you know affection from the man and the man wants sexual access and in both scenarios you're missing you're giving up your commodity without getting what you want in return. The girls want attention and affection, but giving up sex, not getting it, right? And then the man is giving up attention and resources, but not getting sex, which is what he wants from the woman. So it's a finesse. So it's in your best interest to have a guy. Yeah, from, I guess. Can I ask Listen, you something? I, I, they're both ahead. accepting finesse it, away. then it is what Good. it is. Oh, he's not accepting it. He's, he's just tolerating it for a time period exactly. of time <laughs> with ulterior motives. Somebody has some? Yeah. Have you ever had like an open communication with a girl before? Yes, which is why like, I don't have How open is open? Oh, very open. So Hell, we do it like every night. Women can't take the truth, man. I, uh, yeah. Okay, so what does that look like? What do you mean? Like, what does the open communication for you guys look like? What, like, what, me talking? Like, you got to give me an example here. Like, what? Like, are you expressing, this is what I want from you. What do you want from me? 
Yes, and girls, <laughs> like, here's the thing. I don't deal with a girl unless it's sexual in the first place. But I'm asking, what are you asking for and what is she asking for in return? Like, what would the typical situation look like? Well, I mean, it's not like we just sit there and outline, hey, well, you know what? I want this from I you. I think that's the problem. And you want this? No, uh, because th that, see, that's, see, Western bullshit. That, like, that's yo, a contract. That, that sounds that's not great. Western bullshit. No, that's because so here's the thing. Eastern philosophy. We, we can sit here and say that, like, you can be completely honest. Sit down with your girl and tell her what's on your mind. No, women are not equipped to handle the truth. You guys do not like the truth. That's a generalization. That is a yeah, generalization. That I think that maybe that's what everybody's saying. Well, okay. the, point, so the point, the point, the point. What that really is, because point. I know a fair amount of people who can actually handle the truth, myself the, included. The point. Mm, I don't know. <clears throat> a lot of the women that sit in there don't look like they can handle the truth. So <laughs> shit, I'm just, that's just me being honest. You know what I'm saying? Especially like from the other, uh, Fresh and Fit podcast that we've seen that a lot of them don't even look like they kind of true, especially what comes out. If it comes out, or how they like, look yeah. or... you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't really. It's a lot of women that really, you know what I'm saying? Can't. And it's it's one thing that is, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's why you had to talk and you had communications and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely a dope video. Make sure y'all comment down below um, if there's more. Definitely gonna check more out. Make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Catch y'all next one.